Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick update on Selenium 4.27 version. If you add the 4.27, which is recently released just two days back only, and you can see in my pom.xml file, I have added 4.27.0 Selenium Java version. So the small change is that now we don't have any get attribute method or it's actually deprecated. We are still having it but they have marked it with deprecated warning, right? So for example, earlier, what we used to do, so let's see if I'm finding the specific element by dot ID, and let's see any element on this particular page. For example, let's see if I right click on it and then go to inspect, and then I'm looking for uh, some attribute for this particular element. I really want to know what is the attribute or value or placeholder or anything on this for this particular web element. So let's see if I'm taking this particular ID and I'm using, let's see, by.id. And earlier we used to have this particular method, get attribute method, which was a fantastic method to fetch the attribute or any attribute value from the DOM. You see that get attribute name. But now this warning is coming. This method is deprecated. Use get DOM property or get DOM attribute for more precise contribute uh, retrieval, right? So this is what that they have given now. That's why you see that there is a warning message also coming. If I'm writing it directly here, let's see, I really want the name property from this. So it's actually giving me a warning here across strike line here. So don't use this get attribute. Instead of that, they have introduced two method, simple write DOM. You see that get DOM attribute or get DOM property, any of them you can use it here. Now, for example, I really want to do what? I really want to fetch its placeholder value. So this is the attribute name and whatever the placeholder value, which is available, I'll store it inside the string here. So let's see, this is the placeholder value equal to this, and I'm printing it on the, on the console here. So I'll just simply write system dot or print Allen. This is a placeholder value printed on the console. So when I run this, it should fetch the placeholder value. So let's quickly run it. You see the browser is getting open application is entered and uh, you see that email address we are getting here right you see that the placeholder is equal to email address so you can fetch any uh, attribute value with the help of get dom attribute method now they have introduced one more method like this so instead of the if i'm writing again you write let's see dom get dom property and which value that you really want to pick so let's see if this time I really want to pick its uh, name property or class property. So I'll say, what is the name property here? So I'm passing the name here and then I'm storing inside the name value and then I'm printing it on the console, this name value also here. Okay, so this time it will give you the name value as well. So you can use get DOM property method as well here. So you see that, yeah, this is, let's see, is it really working or not? So yeah, this is absolutely working fine here, right? So there are a couple of use cases. Let's see, it is really working with the Firefox driver also or not. So let's quickly run it on the Firefox browser also. So I'm running with the Firefox driver and uh, let's quickly run it. Because this is actually implemented at the, I mean, this is actually defined at the web driver level. And then the, from the web driver, it is actually implemented by the remote web driver. And from the remote web driver for each and every driver class got this particular feature through inheritance. So now you see that in the Firefox also, we are getting email address and the email. Let's quickly check with the Safari driver also here or not, because it's very important. Otherwise my script might break in future. So let's see, they have implemented with the Safari or Edge also. I have already tested with the Edge browser, it is working fine, but let's quickly check with the Safari driver also. So you see that Safari is also getting launched, but uh, let's see with the Safari also. Yes, I'm able to fetch the attribute here. Perfect, right? But another thing is that, let's see, I'll do one thing again, I'm using this particular, I'll just use it here once again, and then I'm entering a value here. In my value, I'm writing Naveen at the rate, let's see, gmail.com. So this is what I have entered in this particular text field that Naveen at the rate gmail.com something. And then I really want to fetch its value attribute. So with this also, yes, we can do that as well. So I'll do one thing first you enter. So now what I'll do, I simply use, let's see this one once again, 
get DOM property and which property that you have to use, I'm saying value property. Remember, you have to now, to fetch the value attribute, you have to use get DOM property. Here, get DOM attribute will not work here. And just after that, immediately I'm printing this value attribute also here. So let's quickly run it and let's see, is it really working or not? So you see that my Chrome browser is running again. And uh, after entering the value, it will enter Naveen at the rate gmail.com. And then I'm picking whatever you have entered, give me that. So you see that is giving me Naveen at the rate gmail.com. But remember guys, one thing, if you are using this get DOM attribute method over here, it will not work here. So let's quickly run it and let's see with the get DOM attribute, it's working or not. They would have given for the get DOM attribute also, but I observe this thing. It is not working. It's giving me blank over here. Can you see? So which method you have to use whenever you have to fetch the value attribute? Remember, we have to use get DOM property. Okay, so don't get confused. Maybe we can raise a concern that why it's not working with the get DOM attribute also. Okay, so these are the two simple methods that they have given and it will work fine for other browsers also. And then you can also try it whenever you are entering the value. Make sure that it's fetching the value from these two methods. Okay, and then I can quickly show you with the deprecated warning message also what exactly that they are giving. See this whenever you are using get attribute method and then you supply some attribute, let's see test attribute is giving you this yellow line warning. And you see that this method type is this deprecated here, right? And you can just simply go there and then you can see at the rate deprecate annotation that they have added. This method is actually deprecated. It's clearly returned here. Okay, I hope this is clear. So this is just a small change I really want to do. Show you instead of get attribute, start using these two methods. Thank you so much guys.